So this session is going to be all about finding some more yardage with your driver. Um, who doesn't want more yardage? Because ultimately, if you're going to be hitting two clubs less into a green, you're going to be far more accurate. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple of tips about how we can find a little bit more speed, a little bit more width in your golf swing. You're all going to hit a couple of shots on my track, man, so I can measure exactly where you are, give you some fact-based info, so then if you want to consume some content, it's going to be very tailored to your swing, to your technique. So I just want to talk about one of the kind of misconceptions within the golf swing, um, and particularly width within the golf swing and what this relates to. If we can find more width in your golf swing, that's going to equate to swinging the club you know, faster, which means it's going to go further. Now, for every mile an hour that you swing the club faster, that equates to about three, three and a half yards, providing you hit the center of the face. Um, and, and when I see a lot of people trying to get wider with their golf swings, they try and do this. They just move the club and try and get it as wide as possible here. But what that actually leads to is then a narrowing at the top because you're trying to hinge the club too late, you see. Um, rather, in fact, what we've got to work on is trying to load the club a little earlier. That means getting a little bit more fold in your right arm. So I'm just managing a little bit of angle between my wrist and the shaft there. But importantly at the top, width is about getting this right elbow stretched away from your body. And um, so we get those hands nice and high, and nice and wide. And then of course we're creating a bigger circle for that club head to gather momentum and speed through impact. And, and you know, providing on the center hit, that's gonna equate to more yardage. So. Now we're trying to just load the club correctly, a little bit of hinge, a little bit of fold through my right arm. And I'm keeping that right elbow as wide, as stretched as possible at the top to gather that speed through into impact. So what, what the data shows us, um, you can see here, is that you know, once I started trying to feel like I folded my right elbow and got wider at the top, we can see my measurement of my club head speed at impact actually increases. So I got up to 107, even 108 from where I was at 104 and 105. And just by purely thinking about loading the club better and, and getting wider at the top, that's going to equate to about 12, 12, 13 yards in distance, which could be another club less into a green. I know I'm going to be more accurate with a 9 iron as opposed to an 8 iron. Um, so, so that's where we can then shave some shots for you, know, for you in the future.